everyone, my name is Casey and today we're gonna to be talking about five ways that you can improve your lifestyle so that your 2024 can be off to a good start. So typically people wait until the beginning of the year to start their goals. Now, if you wait till the beginning of the year, guess what you're gonna do for January 1st? You're already gonna be hungover. Okay, so you're already not starting off on a good start. So if you back it back to the fourth quarter, which is like where we are right now, it'll be easier for you to maintain a healthier lifestyle in 2024. And so that's why these five tips are important to you. I had to pray real quick because before I start talking about the scripture and the word, I have to like pray, usher God in because I screw screwed past that. So I was like, let me push pause right here and just reach out, connect to the Lord. So I'd like to obviously start off with scripture and it's John 3, 16. I don't, actually don't know which version I got this from today, but it says, do not be conformed by the world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, um, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. So I think during the fourth quarter, just really setting your intentions for 2024 is the best route to go because once you if you start thinking about your 2024 goals in 2024 then you're already behind in my mind so um i've already started thinking about ways i can improve my business improve my life improve my social media goals and for 2024 and i'm still in hopes of like accomplishing all of those goals for 2023 right now too so while i still have goals that i need to like meet maintain um i'm already like setting realistic expectations for 2024 and i want to create a lifestyle so that when i go into 2024 i'm like just like off to the races like as soon as the gates open so number one in my walk to having a better 2024 is walking more okay so i read the self-care solution which i think i talked about in another video but by walking more like i feel like i've slowed down my mind and that sounds really weird but during my walk like from the gym home or from campus home like that 30 minutes like walk i do like track it so it's like four thousand steps like one one and a half miles sometimes two depending on the route that i take but during that 30 minutes it gives me time to like listen to audiobook, listen to my Bible study. It gives me a time to just like really not talk to people. Sometimes I do, but most often I walk in silence just so I can like have my alone time before or after the gym. And it's honestly just healthier. So I have like moved more. I have gotten my steps in and i'm really like taking some time to be intentional with my me time during that 30 minutes um another thing the step number two of improving your 2024 is i'm drinking less alcohol now for the month of october i have not wanted to drink alcohol because um like obviously with any time that you drink alcohol like you wake up and you feel regret or you may be having a slower morning um obviously you're not getting quality sleep if you're drinking alcohol and obsess at, at night or and to me honestly any type of alcohol that i have at night like doesn't really make for a conducive sleeping environment for me personally some people may disagree but to me whenever i even like have a glass of wine it's just my sleep is not as good so by cutting out alcohol i have or not cutting out alcohol just reducing alcohol intake levels i have been able to sleep better wake up more refreshed get more done because i'm not like vegging out like just sitting here watching tv aimlessly i may have tv on in the background and doing work in in the meantime because i'm not like just drinking alcohol or smoking hookah which i have like cut down on that dramatically um and it's very surprising like a while ago i did a tiktok video where i asked god well what 
I didn't ask God. I said, if you ask God for something, be prepared for him to move. Because I was like, God, like, I just don't want the, de the desire. I was like, God, I just don't want the desire to like smoke hookah or drink alcohol. And I promise you, like, whenever I do smoke hookah, I feel a difference like immediately, instantly. Like, I'm like, oh, this is not good. Like, or like my throat will start hurting if I drink alcohol, like it just doesn't sit right. Like, so, like alcohol that I used to like no longer sits well with me. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but that's my experience with alcohol. And I hope that in 2024, in January, you do dry January um, because I plan on doing that. But yeah, the third thing, and I think the most like, one of the most important things is um, reading more. So Proverbs 17, 27, 28, I'm just gonna read it. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility counts others more significant than themselves. And I feel like when you read, that's kind of what you're doing. Like you're getting more perspective so that you can connect with other people better. So that you're not like serving a selfish like ambition but instead you're doing it to build community or to help someone else not just yourself because when you are more aware of what's going on in the world around you it really puts life in more perspective of like where you are and it also just makes you a little bit more grateful when you read these stories and when you hear like firsthand accounts about like somebody else's life and then you realize like oh my gosh like god has spared me god i'm god's favorite you know what i'm saying and that's what i feel like everyone can say in some way shape or form um number four going into 2024 i'm spending less money that does not mean i'm not going to get my people a good christmas gift but what that does mean is i'm not like going out or eating out more i'm just being more money aware of where my money is going you see what i'm saying because i want to make sure that i'm able to make the necessary investments into my business and into my lifestyle um that i want so just being aware of where i spend my money is important and that's where it comes from hebrews 13 5. uh keep your life free from the love of money and be content with what you have for he said i will never leave you nor forsake you and i promise you like that last part be hitting different because sometimes i feel like like i'm very intrigued about like money like i wouldn't say that i love money but i'm very like fascinated by how people use money to benefit them especially like the wealthy um whatever you want to think about that you can i just think that it's very interesting when you like learn laws that like allow you to buy real estate allows you to like um invest in certain ways that help you financially in the long haul and for help your your family and for generations to come that i feel that my community really hasn't tapped into like other communities have but even that second part with um with god saying i will never leave you nor forsake you like oh my gosh there have been so many times like especially in my real estate career when it's just straight like commission i'm like god i'm out here in this boat and i know you're not gonna leave me but it's looking real 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 stormish right through here okay real stormish and it looked like you in that boat sleeping but he did not forsake your girl because i can truly say that i do not look like where my money has been or what like things i've gone through personally because god has always been like right there for me protecting me um i could go on and on and on about money for a very long time because there are just certain things that like god can provide where money can't right there's a lot of grace that god gives you that money can't buy and that's why i love him so much and depend on him so much because there's been times but god you know 
Um, so that's number four. Um, and then number five is like being 10% healthier. And so whatever that means for you and really setting like your sights on your health, whether that be mental, physical, or emotional, for me, that's primarily like mental and physical, and which is why like walking was number one. Um, or not, maybe I shouldn't put numbers, but anywho, um, I actually like not only have I been mindful with my money, but I've been mindful of what I consume, like eat, because I know, I know what I shouldn't be eating. Okay, just like we all do, we all know what we shouldn't be eating, and everyone has a different thing, right? But I promise you. I have been tearing up ice cream like no other and I have felt so complete and I haven't really seen that big of a difference in the scale because I eat um, half the fat ice cream so I don't really eat true ice cream like a like a ice cream connoisseur would eat because I don't really like it but I have found so much joy <laughs> in eating ice cream. And so it has helped me mentally and I have been mindful enough in my eating to like, let me not get like all the fat, but let me pay attention to something that I can consume that will make me happy. And it has worked. Um, and a while ago, uh, or not a while ago, but I recently met this guy who does like meditating and like he taught me a lot. Not, not like taught me like as in the practice, but like a way to think about meditation. And so I've been really practicing like stealing my mind enough to allow to hear from God. Like I don't want to just sit in silence, but I want to be able to steal my mind enough that if I'm like asking for God's communication, I can adequately hear that. And that's like my practice. Um, and of course, like prayer helps with mental stability for me. Um, so I think that if we put all of these five things, which are very simple into this last quarter, I think that you would be amazed like how your first quarter of 2024 will turn out. I'm going on this journey. I would love like for you guys to comment down in the comment section below on if you would like to join me. Um, with any of them, it doesn't have to be all five of them, but if you like say, Casey, I just want to be more active or I want to pray more, or I want to read more. If you want a book su suggestion list, I have officially met my 24 book goal. And so I can put that in the description box below. So be sure to let me know what books you have read or want to read. They're all amazing. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay. Bye guys.